Okay, so this is another problem. And again, if you uh, would like to read the question slowly, you can pause the video right now and you can read it. And then you can come back to this video. All right, so we have a cylindrical uh, water tank. So let's go ahead and draw a picture. So it's going to be something like this. Okay. And then it sets uh, the radius, it's six meters. So let's go ahead and draw this. This is the radius, I'm gonna put an R right here. And this is going to be six meters. And it's gonna, we're gonna add water in here. So water is gonna come in here and at a rate of two meter cube per minute. Okay, now how do we label this? We can label this by saying it is D V D T. All right. So now it's asking how fast is the height of the water increasing? So what we are trying to find is D H D T. So let's go ahead and label this cylinder here H. All right. Okay. Now uh, what we have here is we have a cylinder and we're talking about the volume and the volume is related to radius and H. So let's go ahead and write down the equation for the volume of a cylinder. So V is equal to uh, the area times height. So we have pi R squared times height. Now this is the one of the biggest problems that students may uh, stumble here which is, uh, so we have R and H. So do we need to do anything with this equation? The answer is yes. And the problem, the question now is, what are we going to do with this equation? Well, we need to ask, what is changing as we add water into the cylinder? It's our volume changing, yes. So we're gonna keep this as V. Pi, now a lot of students got tripped by this uh, symbol, pi. Uh, understand that pi is just a number, 3.14, yada, 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 okay? So it's just a number, it's just like one, two, three, so it's just a coefficient. So don't get freaked out by the symbol pi, it's just a number, so keep that in mind. It's just a number. Now radius, is radius changing as we add more water into the cylinder? The answer is no, the radius is going to remain the same. So it's not a variable, it's a constant. Okay, so keep that in mind, radius is a constant. It's our height changing as we add more water into the cylinder? Yes, the height is going to change as we add more water. So we're going to transform this equation into V is going to pi 6 square h. Okay, pi six square h, and uh, so it's essentially v is equal to thirty six pi h. Now, how many variables do we have here? We have v and h. Now, we are going to we are going to differentiate this equation in respect to time. So, uh, with proper notation, we should write it this way: d over dt of V, it's equal to D over DT of 36 pi and H. Now, since 36 pi is just a number, we can uh, put these number up front. So it's basically the same thing as saying 36 pi and D over DT of H and D over DT of V. Now, the way we differentiate this is, well, uh, this V, it's not a variable exactly because the variable that we're expecting is t so v is really a function of uh, uh, in terms of t so v and h they are functions of t so this is where we have to uh, use implicit differentiation so we will have uh, well let's differentiate v that's going to be 1, but we have to use the chain rule since this is a function. So we have dv and dt. And right here, 36 pi, we keep it, differentiate the h. So we have 1 
by itself, but h is a function, so we have dh and dt. All right, and so we basically have dv dt, it's equal to 36 pi in dh in dt. Do we have uh, dv dt? Oh yes, we have it, so this is uh, given. And uh, all we need to do is to solve for dh and dt right here. So we will go ahead and substitute 2 right here, and 36 pi times dh dt. So if we go ahead and solve for dh dt right here, uh, it is going to be, if you put everything into calculator, then you have point one, a point zero one seven seven, and the unit for this uh, change of height over time. Well, since we use meter as uh, unit right here, so uh, meter will be the unit for height, and over minute. So this is how we calculate this problem, solve this problem.